Yeah, indie stock bushings versus bones bushings. I think this is kind of an interesting one, you guys. All right, let's start with indie bushings. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So indie stock bushings. Now, I hear a lot of people complain about these, and I couldn't tell you why, because they are not the same as they used to be. For me, these take about half an hour to break in, and at first, so like the first 20 minutes, feel way too loose. They're squirrely, they're all over the place. Way too loose. But once they break in, I find they feel just kind of perfect. I think these ones are a barrel bushing. The bottom bushing is straight down, so they're more stable than a conical bushing. That's what Bones is, we'll get into those in a bit. But yeah, Indy replaced the conical one a while back with the Stage 11. They got a barrel shaped bushing, and then this little one on top, which is a little shorter than the old ones used to be, which is part of the reason why we have more kingpin clearance than the Stage uh, 10s used to have. Now, what do I like about these bushings? So the pros to these bushings are that for me, and I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, these bushings last me the life of the entire truck and I never need to do anything about them. So I normally have really good luck with indie bushings. They don't usually blow out or break or split. Uh, this one right here, weirdly, is splitting. And so is the other one on the other truck. But my last five pairs, I've had zero problems with whatsoever. Yeah, it's kind of strange that these are doing that. So the only cons I find about the indie stock bushings, for me personally, is that they can be actually a little bit too loose. And by the time my trucks get to be about six months to a year old, I might have two, you know, maybe two threads showing, which is a little bit more than I want. Because by the time my trucks are really ground down, if I've got like two to two and a half threads showing, then I start to get a little bit more hang up on my kingpin clearance for Smiths and stuff. But otherwise, generally, I love the indie stock bushings. I have almost no problems with them. So that's why I always leave them in. And for me, like I said, they only take me about 30 minutes to break in and they're good for the life of the truck. So really, what more can I say? They're dependable. But um, yeah, we do need to get into the Bones bushings because that's what we're doing today. So yesterday, I tried the Bones mediums and when I first tried them, I found them to be like the perfect looseness, brand new. So they weren't too tight, they weren't too loose and that was with like a thread showing or a bit less even. They just felt perfect. So zero break in time, like not even the 30 minutes of squirreliness, just nothing. Perfect, right away. So people might be thinking, well, that's awesome, right? They're perfect. But um, there is some stuff you should know about changing your bushings. So one of the things about a Bones bushing, today I'm gonna be trying the hards actually. I already tried the mediums yesterday. They are a tiny bit lower than an Indy with a washer, than a stock Indy with a washer. So it changes your geometry a little bit. Like we're not talking much here, but I would say it probably takes it from a 55 millimeter truck to a 54 millimeter axle height truck. And what that also does, and I measured it yesterday, but it also puts your wheelbase in about a mil. So for most people, this is a pretty inconsequential difference. Like it really makes almost no difference at all. But I did notice that it felt just slightly more manageable. So these are 149 Indies standards, which are, you know, a bit of a hefty truck for a guy like me that grew up skating the 7.5s in the 90s. And um, I actually found that having everything just go in a tiny bit like that made it a little bit easier to skate. So I liked that, and that actually felt really good. Now let me tell you guys my experience with the Bones medium bushings, because I actually made a video about Bones medium bushings where I kind of refurbished an old set of Indies with these, and they were awesome. But the video I only filmed for like, you know, I only gave my experience with these for like two days. So it wasn't long enough to tell you how the Bones medium bushings do over time. So what happened to me with these is they only lasted me about a month and they collapsed. So they get like a big hernia right here and they blew out. And I found that I had to tighten my trucks more every session or every other session. So while it was absolutely perfect, brand new, within a month, my trucks are basically you got to look at it this way so the more these start to collapse the more your truck goes in like this so you're changing the geometry of your truck it's going from up here it's going from up here and it's going down and so while i said i do actually notice that tiny bit little bit lower and that tiny bit shorter wheelbase that it gives you 
I really started to notice it as these collapsed. And I found the pop actually started to get too wimpy and I couldn't get my trucks tight enough anymore. So the Bones medium bushings, and I've heard this from so many different people, they just can't ride them because they all blow out. Uh, even on the Nine Club, I heard Chris Roberts talking about it, that they usually last him about a month and then they collapse and he has to get new ones. So why would I switch to something that even though it feels immediately perfect, doesn't last me the life of the trucks, when the stock bushings will last me the whole life of the trucks with really, literally no problems. So um, that's my experience with these ones. Slight change in the geometry and a pretty drastic change in the geometry of your trucks as they collapse. So not a good long-term investment, in my opinion. Let me know your experience in the comments below, though. That was just mine. Today, like I mentioned, we are going to be trying the Bones Hards because um, I haven't had those collapse. Although I also haven't ridden them that much, and I also kind of suspect that they're going to be just a little bit too tight for me. But um, let's get these set up. So they go with no washer on the bottom. Get my hanger on there. And so there is one other thing you need to know about these is over time, sometimes soon, sometimes later, these will start clicking. And what it is, I think, is it's the metal rubbing here and also maybe the metal and the plastic rubbing there. But what happens is every time you turn on your truck, it goes click and then you turn the other way, click, click, click. And that is like enough to drive me crazy. So that was um, between the bushing collapsing and between the clicking sound that you can get from a Bones bushing, I thought it was, you know, unacceptable. Couldn't do it. Wow, these are gonna be tight, <laughs> the Bones hards. I don't even, I can't even get that flush, and that's so hard. I don't think I'll actually be able to skate this, but I'll let you guys know how hard it is. So I'm just trying to get it enough for the little nylon lock nut to actually even grab. Do you think hards would be good for people who are a little heavier? Hards would be really good for people who are heavier and for people who like tight trucks. Absolutely. Good question, Adriano. Big thanks to Adriano for helping film. Yeah, let's see how these do. <laughs> I don't even think I'm actually gonna make it through our session on these. I'm not, I'm just gonna go into the parking lot and skate them and tell you how they feel. <laughs> because uh, I like my trucks medium. I don't ride them too tight, I don't ride them too loose, solid medium. And I can tell just by how much I'm having to tighten this that that's way too much. Okay, let's go see how these feel. Oh, I can't even turn. That's crazy, that's so hard. <laughs> no way I could get wheel bite, but like, I feel like I'm riding like a two by four with a couple of wheels on it, like it, it can't turn. I bet over time, it would actually probably do pretty good and get to where I like it. Like, there's a bit of turn if I try really hard, but overall, I feel like I'm just riding this board in a straight line. <laughs> I need a bit of turn. It's so weird to have to land everything so perfectly, 180 degrees in a straight line. That's weird. Although I do like the way they look and feel, in a way. Not the way they look and feel, I like the way they pop. I can feel the bones, you know, slightly changing it. It does feel light, so. I wonder if these would actually break in just right. Maybe I should try and ride them the whole session and let you guys know at the end of the video. <laughs> you guys, I changed my mind. I'm putting the stock bushings back in. I don't even want to go through this. <laughs> okay, regular bushings back in. So on my back truck, I like a tiny bit tighter. I have like, yeah, thread and a half showing. My front truck, I have one thread showing. And that's exactly how I like my trucks when they're brand new. With time, like I said, by the end of the truck, I get about one more thread showing on these. And that's just where I like them. Anyways, time to have a session.
All right, you guys, you gotta take it easy on me today because I'm nursing a torn muscle right here. So it's just the basics. Fun little session there you guys started taking a few risks there toward the end but um yeah gonna stop i think it's like a tear in my quad i felt it go when i was working out the other day and like i felt everything it was like a rope you know in like a movie when the rope starts like popping and all the strands start fraying that's what it felt like in my leg about a week ago thankfully it's actually doing surprisingly well um, in spite of that but that's why if you actually watch all that footage most of what I do is all like nollie and switch dominant and I took it pretty easy on the regular footed popping. Anyways, um, maybe we should finish up talking about these bushings. I mean, I already said everything I have to say, but a few further thoughts. So um, yeah, we talked about how the old indie bushings, I didn't talk about the old indie bushings, did I? Like the old ones back in the day? Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, okay. So I don't know why people complain about stock indie bushings because like, the old ones, they were so bad, they would ruin your first few sessions. And like, you guys have no idea. They were so stiff and your truck would be, like you'd bend it and it would be completely stuck to one side, you'd bend it to the other side, it'd be completely stuck to the other. Those actually took like a week to break in. So the fact that people think that these take a long time to break in is mind blowing to me. The only complaint that I have about stock indie bushings right now is that they are um, a little bit looser than I like them. So you guys, you know, I mentioned that I have like a thread showing right there or a thread and a half. And that's more than I like to have on my trucks. That's my only complaint is that they're just a bit too soft for me personally. Although I know they're actually too hard for most of these ridiculous kids that are riding their trucks way too loose these days. Um, it's a whole other video I could make, but I don't know, be a bit judgy of me. Ride your trucks however you want. I like them a solid medium and uh, Indies work pretty well for that for me. So that's why I stick to the stock bushings. Had a good session. Don't know why I'm saying all the rest of this. Um, video's over. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your time on your skateboard's going well. And yeah, that's it. Till the next video. Thanks to Adriana for filming.